Tashdil everyone, I am Sakina Bhatt and welcome to Tibet This Week, a weekly feature in English that tells you about this week's news on Tibet, His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Central Tibetan Administration. Let's look at the headlines first. Pad Yatra to mark 60th year of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's arrival in India kicks off in Arunachal Pradesh. U.S. Congress approves increased funding for Tibetans in Tibet and exile. U.S. Financial Aid, Democracy and Thank You India were the highlights of CTA President's concluding remarks at the fifth session of the 16th Tibetan Parliament in exile. Former political prisoner Dhundup Wangchen and Office of Tibet Washington Representative meet U.S. lawmakers in Minnesota. Niece of Tenzing Dalek Rinpoche testifies before Australian Parliament. Exhibition titled Lithang Kham, The Cradle of the Tibetan Resistance, launched at Tibet Museum. A Pad Yatra to mark the 60th year of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's arrival in India kicks off in Arunachal Pradesh on 19th March from Chutangmo, the point of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's arrival into India in 1959. The Padyatra will continue till Tezpur in Assam. On Tuesday last week, the people of Tawang in Arunachal Pradesh commemorated the 60th year of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's journey from Tibet to India through Monyul in April 1959. The marchers were accorded a warm reception by the people of Tawang upon their arrival at the bungalow of the district commissioner where His Holiness took rest during his journey. The Padyatra is organized by the core group for Tibetan cause India in collaboration with the people of Tawang and West Kameng district. On the sidelines of the Padyatra, the Tibet Museum of the Department of Information and International Relations of Central Tibetan Administration also showcased its photo exhibition titled From Home to Exile in Tawang. The President of Central Tibetan Administration, Dr. Lopsang Singe, highlighted on issues such as U.S. Financial Aid, Thank You India, Democracy, Unity and Harmony in Kasha's concluding clarification on the last day of the fifth session of the 16th Tibetan Parliament in Exile on Saturday last week. Dr. Singe said that the financial aid supported by both the U.S. Party of Democrat and Republican is a great honor and matter of pride for the Tibetans and thanked the U.S. government and the Congress for their continued support. Dr. Singe, welcoming the U.S. Congress move, added that such aid and international support for Tibetans and their cause is solely due to His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who throughout his life have tirelessly worked for the well-being of the Tibetans and the Tibet cause. Dr. Singe extended a warm welcome to the Tibetan parliamentarians to attend the Thank You India public event, which will be held at Tsuglakhang Temple on March 31st, the day which marks the 60th year of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's arrival in exile India. The United States Congress approved a spending bill that will fund the United States government for the rest of the fiscal year 2018 through September 30th, 2018. The massive bill includes $8 million for Tibetans inside Tibet and $6 million for Tibetan community in India and Nepal. The Congress also approved an additional and a new line of funding of $3 million to strengthen the capacity of the Tibetan institutions and governance in exile. The continuation plus increase in Tibet funding by the Congress allays concern that arose when President Trump presented his budget, which included drastic cuts in foreign development assistance, including some of the Tibetan programs. On Friday last week, former Tibetan political prisoner and filmmaker of Leaving Fear Behind, Tundup Wangchen and Representative Ngodup Tsering of Office of Tibet, Washington, D.C., visited Minnesota and met several members of the U.S. Congress as well as members of the Minnesota State Legislative Assembly to discuss the Tibet issue. Tundup Wangchen spoke about the situation of political prisoners inside Chinese prisons and difficulties of life even after being released from prison. 
the lawmakers of the U.S. Congress and Minnesota expressed their solidarity with the Tibet cause and support for the Tibetan people. The meetings with the lawmakers were organized by Tibetan American Foundation of Minnesota, one of the largest Tibetan associations in the U.S. On Tuesday this week, Nima Lamu, niece of late Tulku Tenzing Delek, testified before the Human Rights Subcommittee of the Australian Parliament to question China about the circumstances surrounding the death of her uncle. Honorable Kevin Andrews, members of the Liberal Party and former Australian Minister for Social Services and Defence, chaired the hearing. Late Tulku Tenzing Delek, a widely respected Tibetan Buddhist religious teacher and environmentalist and social advocate, died in Chinese prison in Tibet on 12 July 2015 during his 13th year. He was serving a life sentence on trumped-up charges without a fair trial. Nima Lamu said that the distress and torment that a family and local Tibetan community had been subjected to since the arrest of Tenzing Dalek Rinpoche is just one of the many instances that the Tibetan families and political prisoners continues to endure under Chinese occupation in Tibet till today. Honorable Kevin Andrews, the chairperson, commended Nima's courage and assured his continued support for Tibetans and attention on situation in Tibet. On Friday last week, the Tibet Museum of Department of Information and International Relations of Central Tibetan Administration launched an exhibition titled Lithang Kham, the Cradle of the Tibetan Resistance at the Museum near Tsuglakhang. The exhibition features 19 photos captured in Lithang Kham by French-Italian filmmaker Sandra Dolani during her six-time visit to Tibet. Uh, I am very happy to introduce you uh, this uh, uh, photographic uh, exhibition uh, which is uh, a part of a main project. My main project is uh, about compassion and resistance everywhere, not only uh, in Tibet. Her visit to Tibet was a part of a project titled The Project One through which she captures resistance and compassion from every part of the world. The exhibition showed light on the scale of Chinese investment in Tibet to sinicize Tibetan way of life. So much for this week. See you next time and have a great weekend.